wild times. Have you heard of the chupacabra? Once or twice. We've talked about yeah. it. Yeah. We've talked about the, the thylacine connection. About We've talked about all this stuff. Mm -hmm. What if I told you that I can trace the legend of the chupacabra, because we were talking about movies, this mm -hmm. is what made me think mm -hmm. of it, back to a very specific instant in time. I can tell you how the chupacabra started. I'm intrigued. Mm. And I think, don't say it. Yeah. Let's pitch it. Let's go and sell it as a TV show. <laughs> yep. Um, <laughs> No, no, it sounds great. I want to hear right. about it. So, you know, in Texas, like in the U.S. mainland, Texas is, has a lot of chupacabra sightings. Yeah, There's, for sure. We've seen video, Amarillo Zoo creature, yeah. right? But did in they Texas, solve that? No. Never? We no. did on the podcast. Yeah, you we solved did. it. Yeah. It's on no, our YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> but so in Texas, in the, in the U.S. mainland, the chupacabra is this dog-like creature. It's this mm -hmm. wolf coyote thing probably mangy coyotes that are right. sick, so they're attacking right. livestock instead of hunting. Mm. Right. The chupacabra started in the mid-90s in Puerto Rico. That was where it first the started. first mention of the goat sucker, the chupacabra. Okay. It was in Puerto Rico in the mid-90s. Yeah. Okay, interesting. And when it started, there was over 150 reports. The president of Puerto Rico, or whatever, prime minister, I'm not sure, went on the radio and was like, this needs to be taken seriously. This is a big deal. Okay. People are seeing this creature. But if you look, when the chupacabra jumped from Puerto Rico to the U.S. mainland, it completely changed. Interesting. So here's an image of the Puerto Rican chupacabra, okay. which does not look like a no. coyote. It's no. a nightmare. That is not a mangy coyote. So it's you much had scarier. over 150 people reporting this bipedal creature with spikes coming out of its back. Mm -hmm. It's an alien. Livestock. I mean, it's like like a gray alien mixed with a lizard and a werewolf arm. There's a lot going on. Completely different than yeah. the U.S. chupacabra. Definitely. Very different. So in Puerto Rico this year, I can't remember if it was 94, 95, 96. It was one of those. The number one movie at the box office was a movie called Species. Oh, I remember, I remember starring that. Starring Natasha yeah. Henstridge. Yeah. Who full at boob. night, yeah, full boob was shown. <laughs> at night, when she would turn into her alien creature, let's take a look. Oh, now, look that doesn't that. show the spikes coming out of the back. But yeah, up on the top there, the, the top three there. Yep. Definitely getting more. See look the spikes that. coming out bite, of the back? Some back yeah. spikes there. Yeah. Scroll down oh, on yeah, the right dude. side, Kyle. I see the resemblance for sure. So this bipedal alien there, right with there. spikes. There you go. Click that one. Coming yeah. out of the back. Yeah. Looks very much like our goat sucker. Very now, much. this movie came out within months. Go, go back to the, the, the click that top Detective right one. Detective Patrick over that. here. Look at that face and now go back to the, uh, the, the other one. Yeah. yeah. Same critter. Yeah. So this Flat movie nose. had just yeah. come out. Yeah. A woman named Madeline Tolentino. <laughs> this is deep. Was the first person to report the chupacabra. Okay. She indeed did go to the movie theater and watch the movie Species. She said later in interviews. Wow. But now here's a little crazy little nugget on top. Okay. In the area near Canavanas, Puerto Rico, where a lot of the um, uh, chupacabra sightings came from, at the same time that all these chupacabra sightings started and the movie Species had just left theaters, some animal activist went into an animal testing facility and freed a troop of over 30, uh, I don't know which type of monkey, but over 30 monkeys the plot thickens. into yeah. the wild. So okay. now you've got these bipedal creatures walking across the farm. Right, that aren't usually there. That aren't supposed to be there. You, People are watching this movie. You've just seen fucking species, yep. and now you go, uh-oh, that dead goat that got torn apart must be this yeah. mythic that creature. Is human, that is human, what's the word I'm looking for when you make, draw connections? Matrixing. Your mind? It's, yeah, it's the yeah, most sure. logical conspiracy theory I've I've heard in a while. But that is human matrixing, matrixing in a nutshell, isn't yeah. it? I've seen a movie. I've imprinted something that's, you know, I, I right. put in the back of my mind something that's been imprinted upon me. Subconscious. You're not even thinking about You're it. You're not thinking about it, but right. it's there now because it, it's in, in fact, it's that affected me. There. That image lives there. Right. Now I've seen something that I don't know how to place. And right. so I'm projecting that image of what I saw earlier onto this thing right. without even realizing that I'm doing it exactly. and turning that into something else. Yep. Yeah, I'm impressed with your uh, reverse so, engineering. So my thought is the whole chupacabra myth goes back to that moment where Madeline paid her money, yep. got her ticket, bought her popcorn in her 
juju bees. Yep. And then so part two of the theory is trying to figure out how it switched into the uh, well, that feels like just sort of game of telephone, right? Totally. Because <laughs> okay, totally. <laughs> the thing that the Puerto Rican chupacabra and the one in the U.S. have in common is that they attack livestock, right? Sure. And what was attacking livestock in Texas? Mange riddled coyotes. coyotes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's how it becomes a coyote of any kind. Now that's an game. animal mystery that you have legitimately Thank solved. You. I appreciate well it. That's I very well the deduced. Wormhole. Should we give him a golf clap? Yes, golf clap. Please add a sound effect later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've solved the chupacabra. That's well it. done. That's over. Honestly, that's probably one of the top theories. Did you actually put that together yourself from reading and research? I mean, yeah, I pieced it together. Uh, and other people have, you know, there was an article I read that had pieced a lot of that stuff together. Still really but, cool. Yeah, it's interesting. It's nice. Put it on YouTube, solve the chupacabra, Wild Times <laughs> podcast. That's right. No, yeah. I like it. Wild Times. So if you want more behind the scenes stuff, stuff that we cannot show on YouTube, Darwin Awards, video breakdowns and reviews, check out the Patreon. It's full of hours and hours of incredible exclusive content, stuff that you guys are going to love. Swipe up, click the link, do the thing, come and hang out on Patreon. See you guys there.